Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Hiro Ushio, the Comfort Ninja Hero Galaxy Slime. Today we shall be playing an amazing game, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I better have that weapon ready. Now, where are they coming from? He blew up in the bathroom, everything's fine. So round four... Ultralux steam room at 4 p.m. I'm hoping it's this one. See look, it instantly loaded in. There was no issue there. There he is. Who are you? I'm looking for someone who went missing. Just uh, someone who found a matchbook. Matchbook? What about the man I gave it to? He couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. He's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So, is Mortimer behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. So what were you supposed to discuss here? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. How do you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back. Started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. <coughs> I got the sexy lizard. Did you now? I must see this. <coughs> you will show me later, I think. Hopefully. Let's see, what about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. I'm trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell him. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. So, where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything uh, you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Let's see. Ted's father is a wealthy man. With uh, his resources, this should be easy to stop. 
That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. So, where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't... Oh, I heard this one. I... Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging him. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Is he alive? Ah, Chancy. Damn it. Damn him. I thought I was blocking those shots with my body. I didn't think he was actually going to lose. Ah, oh, that sucks. Here, a random question. Would rather make peace with Ice Cream Monster or Ice Pop Monster? Wait. Ice Cream Monster or Ice Pop Monster? Uh, depends what flavor are they. They got Chansey, that sucks. I thought we were like blocking the bullets with our body. Turns out we couldn't save them. Let's see, both of them are your favorite flavors. Damn! Then I would probably be okay with the ice cream monster. All right, so according to our quest, Optional, find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Drug the wine at the White Glove Society banquet. Oh, drug the wine. I drop it. Uh, get rid of Felipe and cook for the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. Find a way to gain access to the members only section of the Gourmand so we can find a sponsor, I think. I wonder if I, if I asked that dude about it. You think he'll do it? Let's see. Tell me good news. See, I can't just tell him. Because he'll just start shooting up the place. Okay, so... I mean, the only person I can think of to get to sponsor me would be uh, Mortimer. And that's this dude. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, let's see. I want to join the White Glove Society. I was told I need a sponsor. Mm. You'll have to look elsewhere, I'm afraid. The whole idea of joining the White Glove Society is pure hogwash. You're either in it or you're not. There's no joining. 
This honorary member nonsense is just something Marjorie contrived because she's so preoccupied with image. But it's only a fad. Once it blows over, the riffraff we've temporarily inducted will be shown the door. So I wouldn't hold out hope if I were you. Hmm. Indeed. So I need to talk to Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Let's see. I want to join the White Glove Society. I was told I need a sponsor. Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists, we want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. Okay. Ta-ta. You say ta-ta. Ta-ta, 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 ta, -ta. Alright, so we have special, like, access to shit, right? So that means we can go right here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so those are actual Brahmin. Infected Brahmin meat. Why would we take that? Let's see. That's the kitchen. kitchen. There's a person. Ah. Oh, son of a bitch! What are you doing? Yo, hey, hey. Come on! No, no, come on. Don't do it, I have a gun! You fool! You thought I wouldn't come prepared? I'm gonna take this. Alright, it doesn't look like they heard that upstairs. What's over here? An accessible door. A door. Hmm. There's a book. Can't steal any of this. But why would he attack me all of a sudden? I didn't do shit to him. Did you see that, everybody? Just being hostile toward their own members. Oh? Beautiful. Okay, but we gotta look around. Oh, this is the restroom. They have, like, their own little wine cellar. That's kind of cute. Medical clipboard. Intercom. There's gotta be a recipe over here. I mean, I don't see any other recipe. Oh, is that the gourmand? Okay. Oh, shit! Oh. Holy shit, that got me. What was that? Who did it? Who did it? That was Vespi. Oh, man. Oh! Runa! Hey! Welcome to the chat! How have you been today? Kappa. Who is the Kappa? The Kappa Papa. What was that? Who did it? It was definitely Vesper. Vesper definitely did scare the shit out of me. I don't know why. Runa says, um, I have been drawing for the past seven hours. Hell yeah! I'm taking a break. You do your thing, Runa. And welcome to the chat. How have you been today? I hope you're having a really good time. 
Alright, I think you're the chef, my dude. Hello, Felipe. Hello there. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. I don't want... Wait, why do I have to get to work? Who do you think you are talking to me that way? Who do... Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Fusion Cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Goddamn, I don't like this guy. You know what? <laughs> You'll be feeding birds when I'm through with you. I kind of want to attack him. Oh, back to my job now. I think you may have me confused with someone else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete Bruh. lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. Lie, I'm here to talk business. It's interested in uh, putting out a cookbook. Let's see. Your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past. Ha, <laughs> yes! What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? <laughs> I can't stay here. I need to be alone. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> did he just come through a realization and just want to leave? What? <laughs> oh my god, he just had an epiphany. He just awakened. This guy is aggressive. Get it all in. I am... I'm proud of him. For... Like, I'm proud of him a little bit. Rudus says, Pompadour hero ruined him. What do you mean? Wait, I'm a Pompadour? What's a Pompadour? You told him uh, he needed therapy, and he took it to heart for sure. He talked about his dad and his mom, and he talked about his brother. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe he did that. I have to get going. <laughs> what about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Dude, Felipe, bro. Felipe! Yo, hey, I, hey, I didn't mean to, like, make you feel that way, man. I mean, you're a dick, but damn. Yo, you, you gonna be okay, Felipe? What are you doing back here? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I need to go. You shattered him. How <laughs> could you? I, I wanted to kill him, and now I just feel bad for him. Damn, he went through some shit. Okay, so now I have the recipes. Let's see, get Ted back to his father, get rid of Felipe, and cook for the banquet using his recipes for human flesh. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Cook? Cook? Okay, so everything necessary to cook a meal is here and at your disposal. As long as Felipe isn't there to stop you. I need survival at 75 or higher required to improvise a meal using no recipe. And intelligence, 6 or higher of recipe required to cook following the recipe. So cook imitation human flesh using the recipe. I think I did. Use the intercom to call in the waiters. Okay, we're... This one? How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. But no one is in their chairs yet. Surely we should wait until 7 when the dinner guests arrive. I'll be ready when you need me. Okay, so we have to wait at 7. It's almost 7! Hold on. 
Oh shit, is he in the freezer? There you are. Howdy. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. I'll make sure you don't live to tell him. No, calm down. I'm coming to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. I don't know who I don't know who did this. Uh, let's see. Some members of the White Cliff Society, they were going to eat you. There's no time to explain. We have to go now. Uh. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what. As soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. The White Glove Society isn't to blame, just uh, Mortimer and a few others. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same, too. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for them. You're right. Let's make sure they're all killed. I could always leave you here if you aren't going to listen. All right, all right. But there's gonna be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Come on, move it. Shit. Okay. I may have done this wrong. How may I assist? At once. Bring Ted to the members only section to expose more at the end. Well, I don't know where the fuck that is. Hey! Nope. Oh. Shit. Something tells me I wasn't supposed to do that. I might have to restart this scene. Okay, they're doing their own thing. I may have needed the head waiter to go in there first. Do you, it. what do you think you're doing? Uh, Mortimer sent me to move the kid. Thinks one of his own might betray him. First he's too trusting. Now he doesn't trust any of us. That addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. Yay, I got through this. Where the hell's the chef? There he is. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna have to destroy him one more time, guys. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world wait? Let's see. Oh really? What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. So you may be projecting, tell me about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. What about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Okay. Hopefully we humbled him. What do you think? Alright, so now that we cooked it... Use the intercom to call it the, re the waiter. That's going to be a while. Okay, so we're going to save. This is as far as we're going. This is actually the, as far as we got for this one, right? We are not going to unlock the freezer until later. We're going to wait until the head uh, the head chef gets here. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, one hour. It's almost seven. Hopefully I don't get attacked this time. 
Ooh, carrots. Come on, come on. Let it be 7 o'clock already. Squishy Snake gives uh, Elder Scrolls... You got Elder Scrolls? What? Psyche says, kaboom, you did it twice. I bet he's feeling deja vu. <laughs> You're damn right, say lucky. He definitely is feeling that deja vu. <laughs> now you fiend! It had to be done! Alright, now it's seven. How may I assist? At once. Alright, so now he's gonna come over here. He's gonna take the food, right? There he is. Hello. Hi. You're not going to attack me, right? You're going to take the food. Yeah. Sweet. So he took the food. Um, Drug the wine at the White Glove Society banquet. How do I do that? How the hell am I going to get him out of here? So the wine area is over here somewhere. We don't even have anything to drug the wine with, that's the thing. Refrigerator. There has to be a way for me to get him out of here without, like, getting chased. This takes us to the kitchen. Where does this take us? Still takes us to the kitchen. White glove members only section. Alright. So I think I know how I'm going to get him out of there. Do you think the kitchen actually has the, um... The drugs we need? I mean, he, I, most likely he took out, he took the wine and the, st and the steak too. So, I don't think we need to drug it. Don't see, don't be suspicious. Looks like the Elder Scrolls. Kind of does. You're kind of right. That tower on the strip. The My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Uh, calm down. I'm coming to uh, get you out of here. My daddy sent you. God damn it! I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Hmm. So there's no time to explain, we have to go now. Alright, fine. I'm right behind you. Okay, gotta make sure that guy's not around. Cool, cool, cool. Should be able to leave, like to leave from here. Oh shit! All right, here we go. I know I'm not the schedule speaker, but I have a few words, if I may. There was a time not not so long ago. All right, bring Ted the members-only section to expose Mortimer at the end of his banquet speech. So, when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. Watch out. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, we accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. Whoa, whoa, Come whoa, on, whoa, whoa. how much we lose in the process. Why am I getting attacked? As a society, Enough? we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to Bruh. offer. A meat sweeter than the most corn fed most of you. 
among us. It is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unify. Where's my buddy? All changes. The taboo you like ends. It? You are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also new Why is this happening? For our society to be truly like elite, we must dine on the most delicious known to us. And tonight, for the first I've time got one. as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Can, can Fellow you... members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Bro, he's still alive. Aren't I supposed to talk to him now? What the? Who is this trespasser? What do you mean, who am I? Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you... Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can't tell you that. Or I can't tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Good meetings. Get him, everyone. You guys were all beating my ass not too long ago. Hello there. Okay, so now they're no longer cannibals. We fixed them. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. Sweet! We saved them. Okay, so Gamer Guy Bathwater says, Oh, the Ultralux. Yes, the Ultralux. We just saved the sun and exposed, um, what's his name, Mortimer? Of his plot. Ta ta. Alright. We are now idolized by them. I am happy. Now let's get you back to Papa. Come on. We need to get you back to Daddy. Your daddy about to whoop your ass. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's Mortimer. Yeah, run away, Mortimer. Get out of here. Nobody wants to be a cannibal with you. You're stinky. Get that stinky man. All right, he's still following us, right? There he is. Okay. There you are. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Where, where is the ass beating you have promised me, sir? You got me my boy back. I got no words. Oh shit. Now I hope you will be all to whoever the sponsor is. I want to skin their eyes myself. You scared me. Gamer Guy Bathwater, thank you so much for the follow. I now have a question for you, okay? If you could have a superpower, it does not matter what superpower it is, but you could only have one, what would it be? Also, would you identify as a hero, anti-hero, villain, anti-villain, or a civilian? We are so close, guys, to getting to that 500 mark, and we're gonna, like, when that 500 mark hits, I'm gonna be, I'm actually currently working on the banner that will show that we are here. You know what I mean? The road to 500 hype! Wow, just like that? I had to kill everyone in the damn building. Yeah, they were... They, uh, so I had to run away from everybody that was trying to kill me. And while he was giving his speech. Luckily, they didn't go after the... They didn't go after the kid. 
They didn't go after the kids, so I was able to like just dance around the freaking like table, while, like so they didn't hurt, so I didn't hurt them or they didn't hurt each other. And when he finished his speech, I talked to him, and then like that's how we ended it out. We excluded uh, Mortimer and saved the kid, and everybody's like, "Oh, okay, we're not bad guys anymore. Awesome." We saved people from not being cannibals. That's how. That's what we did. Whew, man. Let's see. Squishy Snake says, "Bet this is uh, made by the people who made Oblivion." You know, I thought Bethesda did make the Fallout series. Did they not? Bethesda also made like Skyrim and the Fallout series. Yeah, they most likely did. You're right, Squishy Snake. Let's see. Gamer Guy Bathwater says, "I'm gonna aim for anti-villain, and I'd go for a." Toji style power from Jujutsu Kaisen. What does Toji do again? Can you remind me? It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, let, let's talk to this guy very quick. Oh, that goes here, that goes here. I don't know who took him, I just found him. It was Mortimer, one of the white gloves, who had Ted uh, taken, he was a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Speech. Speech! That's just what they'd want. You'd be depriving the city to eat each other. Let's not be hasty. You don't have to punish the entire strip. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Alright, so I'm liked enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like you. Yay! Feeble will. The quest failed. Wait, what? Uh, feeble will. Heck, Gunderson is looking for his disappeared son. Talk to Walter Phoebus about this. Wait, did I not do it? Oh! I didn't I didn't find the other dude. Damn, there was a quest I missed. You'd be crazy to put your money on either side of the coming battle. Damn it. Okay, so that that was a quest we missed up. That's okay. That is okay. We have cured them of their cannibalism, everybody. Bruh, Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Come and join the Hero and Slime Army. Always say you're a good slime, and remember to be a hero to yourself as well as to others. Take care, everyone. See you in the next video.